Hello everyone, welcome to Technology Begins. In this video, we will see week 4 programming assignment of programming data structure and algorithm using Python course of NPTEL. In this assignment, we need to write two functions of Python. So in the first function, we need to find out minimum frequent number and maximum frequent number and sort it in ascending order. So for example, we have a list of numbers and we need to find out which number is minimum frequently available into that list. So 7 over here which is minimum frequent number and 13 is maximum frequent number. So we will get the output like this and we need to sort it in ascending order if there is a multiple numbers. Okay. And second function is that we need to find out one hop pair so we can go from source to destination. Okay. So we need to write one hop function. So in this we got one list of pairs and we need to find out uh, that source and destination using so we need to find out source and destination so we can go to that source and destination via another pair of source and another pair of source and destination we can say okay so for example if we have this one pair 2 and 3 so we cannot go from 2 and 3 we must need one pair in between them okay so after that we have 1 and 2 so there is the another pair so we have to go from 1 to 2 and there is another pair is 2 to 3 so we can go from 1 to 3 because we have another pair is in between them so we have source is 1 and 3 is our destination so we can go from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 so that 1 and 3 is our output okay so you can uh, read this uh, definition properly so you will get better idea about that let's see the frequency function and one of function so first one is a frequency function Inside of that we are finding the minimum frequent and maximum frequent number and after that we are doing this sorting. So this is very simple. Okay. And we are returning our list of minimum frequent number and maximum frequent number. We have done the simple uh, list comprehension and find out the minimum number and maximum numbers over here. Okay. And another one is one hop function. So in this one hop function we have taken the two for loop which is running same on the input so let's uh, trace this and one by one and see what will be and how output will be come so first uh, a for loop is running on this input itself so first this two three and one two so and second for loop is also running on this uh, whole list and so now we are at our second uh, for loop our first for loop is run and this i value will be 2 and 3 okay and our now our second for loop will run and our j value will be also 2 and 3 because we are running on the same list after that we are checking the condition we don't need to check the same pair so that's why we have put this condition so this condition will be false and we need to check it if that uh, list of i of 1 so this first list of i of 1 that means 3 and second list of j of 0 that means uh, 2 but we are checking that our that same pair we are not uh, performing operation on that so that's why this condition will be false and we are not going to check another condition and we will go to our next iteration of our inner for loop 
so what will be the next iteration of our inner for loop so that will be the one and one comma two right now our i value will be two and three and now our j value will be one and one comma two so i and j is not same now we were we are checking this condition so what it will be so we are checking this three of our outer for loop and for inner for loop we are checking this one okay this one and this three so three equal equal to one so this condition is false so we are not going into this after that our now there is uh, no next element inside of our list so this for loop will be end and now our next iteration will come from our outer for loop which is one comma two i hope you are uh, understanding this and this next for loop will start from first itself it is two and two comma three so now i and j is not same and we are checking this i comma one and j comma one so now in this iteration so what will be our i value i value is 1 comma 2 and j value is 2 comma 3 okay so in the like this so we are checking this i of 1 that is 2 and j of 0 which is also 2 so this condition is matched so now we are going into our condition and we are taking q and w which is i of 0 that is 1 and w is j of 1 that is 3 okay now we are also checking 1 and 3 are not same if they are same then we don't need to uh, perform further okay and if they are not same then we need to take that tuple and append into our new list okay if, if that not already present into our output or new list okay and after that we need to sort that list and in ascending order and we need to return that so this is basically a program so now we can do the compile and run So as you can see all the test cases are passed and if we are submit it then also our all the private test cases are passed. So our programming assignment of week 4 is completed. Thank you.